everyone, it's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise and I have my album walkthrough for you guys. I have started a new routine where I have been scrapbooking every Friday afternoon. Olivia has a little while of quiet time on Friday afternoons and so I spend that time scrapbooking and so I have made some good progress in my album. I have been going back and working on traditional pages as I'm also catching up with printing photos. So I'm mostly caught up. We're almost at the end of August and I think I have every week but last week's photos printed, which is great. I've really tried to keep up with it. And since it is August, I went ahead and started my title page. This is gonna be my cover page. And as you can see here, it says the Paytons 2018. And I'm really excited about how I did this. I went ahead and waited until I was on photo number eight so that I could go ahead and do all the writing that I wanted to do. I used the Pick Frame app to get two of the pictures on a four by six. And then I also used the Little Moments app to do the writing on here. So I just changed the opacity to uh, very light so you could see the picture through the words, but they were still kind of obvious. So I'll give you a closer look here. I thought about maybe labeling each photo, but I decided not to do that because I wanted the title to stand out. So we've got a photo from January all the way through to April. And so we've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August here. And some of the photos are significant, like Olivia's birthday. She turned three, that's a significant one. And some of them are as simple as a cute photo of her or a photo she actually took. That was the one she actually took. She was really proud of her little magnet tile car that she built. So that one was a more, you know, everyday moment picture, but I really love how this turned out. I can't wait till the end of the year so I can finish this one. And it just looks really nice. So as I've gone back to work on my album, I've been starting doing the traditional pages from here. And I don't know how much I've shown on this channel, but I have blogged most of these traditional 12 by 12s. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about them. I have not bought new supplies probably this whole year or very close to this whole year. So everything I have is outdated as far as like linking to products and stuff. So I didn't really link to anything in the blog post. It just described, you know, kind of my thought process and my inspiration for the layouts and talked about the products as much as I can because some of them are years and years old. So I'm really trying to do some stash busting, really use up the things I have so that I can go back to ordering things more regularly once I pare down my stash. I would really like to have kind of a clean slate starting in January to where I just buy products as I need them and as I use them and use them up. My problem has been I've bought and I haven't used up and so I'm really working on the using up right now and so I can hopefully get into a better routine. This Friday afternoon scrapbooking has been really nice. I've made two to three layouts most of those days. Some days I haven't felt like doing much. I've just printed photos and like added a few accessories and embellishments here and there. But for the most part, I'm really sticking with I'm getting some progress done in this album. So anyway, walking through everything, my basic setup is still the same throughout the whole album with the exception of a couple of pages here and there, but I've usually got a traditional page next to a Project Life page. There are some weeks where I don't have something that's 12 by 12 worthy and I just have the Project Life page. And on those weeks, I don't sweat it. I don't try to pull out a page to make a traditional page when I'm not feeling it about the photos or if the photos were just like a perfect fit for the 12 by 12. And actually, I have some weeks where I have two weeks on just a single 12 by 12 in this Project Life style. So I'm not adding really dates to anything for the most part. I'm just scrapbooking this whole year and going from there. So looking at this, I've got a tr traditional page. I embellished this page a little bit. I did that back when I had a friend over to scrapbook. I also made that page and decorated this one when she was here. I think I've talked about this because I covered up that um, I had put Super Bowl picnic party because I printed these after the Super Bowl and we had a picnic party for the national championship for college football and for the Super Bowl. So I went back and I realized this one was national championship. I just covered it up. I didn't go ahead and find the photo again and print it again. And then we've got Olivia walking Bella for the last time when we went to take her to the vet to say goodbye to her. She was really, really sick and she declined really quickly. So I wanted to document that because she's such a big part of our life and still we miss her to this day. She's just a big part of our life and she was our last pup. Moving along with that week, here is a page for that week. I just did a little embellishing on this page. And then this is one of my favorite layouts that I've made because I just love the photos. She 
came down from quiet time, I think, or the morning time, she'll usually play in her room a little bit before I get her up because if I go in her room, the second she wakes up, she is a big time grouch. <laughs> she wants me to go away until she really wakes up. So she wanted me to take photos of her potato. <laughs> it's just a Mr. Potato Head and she was so proud of it and barely could sit still for the photos. And I just, I just love, love these photos of her. They're some of my favorite photos probably from this entire year. It's just really cute. And so this one I embellished a little bit there. And then this is another layout I made, Twinkle Twinkle Big Girl Bed. She had slept her first night in the big girl bed and we snuggle before she goes to bed. So there's a picture. I told Johnny to go take a picture of us on the monitor because it was her first time in the big girl bed and she was so excited that I could snuggle with her in her big girl bed. She really wanted to document that. I finally used one of those really cool resin shapes from Freckled Fawn. As you can see, it's a really big chunky piece there, but I loved when they came out with those. I was glad I could use one of those. And then just a little minimal decorating on this page as well. You can see that. So moving into here, this is when she started preschool and so I will have things covered up. Reason number one is I print some photos that I get from her school and I don't wanna show those because there are other kids in those photos. Just for privacy reason, I'm gonna cover those up. And also because Olivia does not like to always wear clothes and so there are photos of her um, without shirts on and I cover her up for this purposes. Um, I'm not going to show those photos. So you'll see post-it notes and things covered up here and there because of that. And sometimes a lot of things covered up because she doesn't like to wear clothes. But anyway, here is a preschool here I come page. I actually have the printables that I used here on my blog. So I will link to that as well. I'll try to link to the blog posts, but you'll be able to go on my blog. I have updated my blog and you can go on it and see all of the recent photos. So you can just click on whatever layout if you want more details or, you know, close up photos of these. So that was her preschool. And with this one, I actually had scrapbooked the whole thing without this photo and this border on here. I had scrapbooked it and then I realized when I went to slide it back in, I forgot this photo. So I just went ahead and tacked that on the top real quick. And just called it done. And then Valentine's Day, this was Valentine's week here. So again, I blogged this one. I haven't decorated this page at all. And then I also made this page here. I want circles, I'm just using old Things. A lot of this is Echo Park and some of this is, I think some of this one is Simple Stories, but I didn't work on this one at all. And then moving forward, I haven't done the scrapbooking, but I'll show you guys what I've got done as far as these. I added a little bit of labeling there. I think I spelled something wrong, so I added a label. And then her third birthday set up, walking through, none of this is done. Let's see, I don't know if there's anything noteworthy for the rest of the album. Oh yeah, okay, so one of the things I started doing on a few of the pages was I added a white title with a color on top. So it adds a little bit of a shadow. I'll show you guys a little bit closer for this one. So you can see that I did that in the Little Moments app, like I did all the fonts and all the titles. So usually I'll have some sort of opacity on it, like you can see there, it's a little bit translucent and then sometimes I have it fully opaque here, and I did the two, so you have a little bit of a shadow, and I like the way it looks. I ran out of space on my card, I had to delete a few things, but I was just talking about this title. So for this one, there was too much white up in the sky for it to just be a white title, and I really don't like to do all black for like a bigger title usually, and so I just did this. I thought it was a cute little way to do it. I just type out the same thing twice and then overlay them, and it works really nicely like that. You get the little bit of a shadowing effect and then you also get the title showing up really nicely. So I just did that on a few different things and I got a little bit creative on a couple of pages here and there. So I will show you guys things. So this is Easter. Let's see. We did go see the Easter Bunny at the mall. She really liked that. Walking through and I like to sometimes put in bigger titles over photos like that. Let's see if there's anything other than that. So here's another one. I just made a little heart shape hang off to just add a little bit of visual interest. Nothing super fancy or super special. Like I, I covered up a lot of things, I cover those up. 
then she also had school photos done, which I plan on scrapbooking as a two-page layout. So um, let's see. Like here, some weeks I just don't have a 12 by 12 to go with it. So I just kind of roll with whatever I've got. So I've got the two-page spread here. But some of them aren't like that. And so now we're moving in. This is June, so happy Father's Day. This is June. And one thing I like about the way I'm doing it now is I can add in some of her artwork. So I just took a picture of her artwork and stuck it in there. I could also do, you know, smaller ones here and there. And so here is our beach vacation. And I decided to do a lot of collage prints for this layout in particular because I had so many beach photos that I wanted to keep. And I really didn't want to have 50 pages of beach photos. So I narrowed it down. I did three, you know, some of the more special photos as bigger ones. And then I've got our group photo here. And I think I'm gonna go back and print this as a five by seven. I can do that with my printer. It can do four by six and five by seven. And I printed it as a four by six and I really want it to be bigger on this page. So that's our main, you know, 12 by 12 beach vacation photo plus two pages for that. And I think that's pretty appropriate for as many photos as I have and it was both sets of grandparents and we also visited Nana and Papa which are Johnny's grandparents and so they're her great grandparents it was a really special vacation for us and I wanted to document it without taking up my whole album because I could put a whole album together based on the photos I just picked my absolute favorite ones that really captured our whole trip and so there it is I loved that one the week we got back I didn't have much so some of these weeks are just with the Project Lifestyle pages. And so here's a week Johnny had to go to his other grandpa's funeral shortly after we went back and that's when we picked him up at the airport. That was the first time she got to give him a big hug. So I documented that. Olivia and I had a week to ourselves this week. And then moving into another thing, here's another little somewhat creative thing I did. I was talking about the story of Olivia taking all the clothes out of her closet. And so I have the little thing documented, but I added a little shape so that it looked a little bit more separated from the photo. You can still see the photo in the background, but I wanted it to be a little bit separated. So I added the hexagon behind there. And then that brings us to, I think this was two weeks ago here. So I still have to print last week's photos and then we're moving into this week and I'll get them set up. So I've still really loved having quotes from her. I try to include quotes from her as much as possible. So a lot of these ones where they're quotes, I will add the quote to the photo that night or like right as she's saying it, if it's something really cute and something I think I'll forget the wording on, I will just add it as soon as she says it. So it's really, really helped me to have it done this way to where like weeks later, I will forget, you know, why I took a photo of her Legos. I took them because she said, it's an egg eating snake and a black mama. The black mama is so beautiful. And I thought it was so cute. I took the picture, but looking back weeks and weeks, I would have no idea what that is. I mean, it's obviously a Lego, but I wouldn't have anything to go with it. So I love the way that I've been doing the project life to where I can document it as I go and really capture the everyday moments. I just cannot stress enough how much I love the little moments app to where I can go ahead and capture moments like this. And then I also just kind of have a collage of we did a lot of art that week. So I kind of combined the photos and added a little shape for my title section. I've been trying to you know, make it a little more decorative in the app so that I have less to do as far as putting things on the page. I just really like having the cute little titles here and there. All in all, I think it's coming together really well. And something like this, yes, it's a photo album. I can always go and decorate this more, but I love having the 12 by 12s sprinkled in. I love having both of them combined. So I could totally get away with just doing basically digital project life, just adding some journaling here and there and some little shapes here and there. I don't even have to really embellish these if I don't want to. And so that's really been the beauty of my system here. It really feels like no pressure. And I think the other weeks that I was doing Project Life, I would really feel the pressure like, oh, I really need to do X, Y, Z and get it done and yada, yada. And with this one, I can just kind of grab it as I go. And I don't really have to worry about all that much. And I've really liked being able to go in and do some scrapbook layouts here and there as I felt like doing it. And on those Friday afternoons, it's just my special little uh, I guess me time to work on this album. But as you can see, I still have a ton of room in this album, which is great because we still have four more months 
in the year here. September, October, November, December. Yeah, four more months. And it's looking like I will hopefully not go past at least like half of another album <laughs> if I do a lot of photos. And as I embellish, I can tell like the top few pages that are, you know, more embellished are thicker. So I might end up filling up two albums when all is said and done, but that's way better than last year where I have three albums and it's not even completely done yet. This is just mostly the flat pages so far and I still have room in my first album. So I'm really happy about that. I feel like I'm making some good progress. I'm keeping up with printing as I go. So I'm happy with what I've got so far. I hope you guys liked this video and it inspired you in some way. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.